And then the design plays, some big plays in the first half with some of design out of this Atlanta Falcons football team. This first half, the offense is starting to put some drives together. Bradley Pinion will boot it away. And not a good We'll have the call here from Lance Clark. So down to Christina Pink, what'd you learn to have, my friend? Well, hey, Adam, you know, I actually asked Chris Tabor running into the wind. He said teams never account for the kicker. So it gave us that extra cover. Up to Arthur Smith, who thought his team had handled it well. Also said, take care. Yeoman's work as per usual. Field position at the 40 after the penalty. And here comes Chuba Hubbard with a big. Get out to the outside edge and capture it. KT puts on his back and that creates that opportunity for Hubbard to get outside there on the perimeter of the defense for a big time run. So he's had a 22 yarder and a 21 yarder. The 22 yarder was a season long. Right back to Hubbard. This time, McKay in London helps blow the play up. Lorenzo Carter and company help finish it off. So three on the play, second down. Well, he was shot out of a cannon. I mean, London just absolutely exploding off the ball. Then watch him right through. Getting skinny, presenting. We used to call that present an arrow silhouette arrow to the silhouette. guy, right? Yeah, it's so cool. It's when you're 300 pounds, it's hard to present that narrow <laughs> silhouette, but he did it on that particular play. Deep in the backfield. Yep. What is fifth NFL game for Kale London, the one time bear? A little pop pass to Smith, all set. And that is Calais Campbell in the backfield. 37 years of age. The Denver native popping through the loss of six. Yeah, it's one thing to uh, block Arnold Epicady if you're uh, trembled, but it's another thing to block 93 who's going to find himself in the backfield. There you go, tied in on Calais Campbell. <laughs> Maybe put that one back in pocket and not call it again because that dude is too big, too strong, too dynamic on the edge. Been doing for 241 games, 222 starts. This guy is amazing. Plenty of time this time for Young and out of the backfield to the tight end, Tommy Treble. He elevates. Trying to get over the top. Uh, Clark Phillips ends up picking up a dozen yards. Always a little nervous about this, but nice time. Right over the top. Bates was there to bring him back yeah. down to earth. Yeah. All right, when you go up, gadget legs over the top. There's DB right there. Bates, who's all over the place, all just at all times. Great season he's had. What a great football player they acquired. So fourth and seven here. It's not a no man's land with conditions the way they are kicking. About a 54 yarder from here. So they're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Let's see where they mark him. Adam Thielen made the catch. Official is right at the 29 yard line, which was the line to gain. Well, just a quick slant, and they've got that loaded to the other side. They had four guys over there, so you saw. The whole defense over there, and then, I mean, I think that's a, I think that's a first down, right? Yeah, they got they gave it to us across the line. His hip hits. We had one official say it was a first down. We had the near side official said, bring the chains to signal first down, but Land Clark, the lead official, and you see Bryce Young still chatting with him about it. They called short. Let's see if Chris Tabor wants to challenge it. You can't challenge the line to gain when it comes to a first down. Currently have both offenses on the field right now. Yeah. <laughs> you got both offenses out there. Let's see. Does I mean, he go down and where's the ball when he does? Where the calf right there. Boy, that is really tight. It is close. So once that calf hits, he is down by contact. Just depends on where that ball was. This is so funny. You got both offenses on the front right. right now. I told you we're gonna have some weird moments in this one, boy. And we got one right here. Ice Young's hanging out. Right here, we got, we got <laughs> this offense. There's one offense. And we got this offense. And guys, what I understand, you'd like to have one offense and one defense on the field once, but let's see who, who butched first <laughs> <in> this. <laughs> Look, now, you, got now we got... you got both quarterbacks right around the line of the game at the spot. <laughs> Des Ritter saying no, that wasn't a first down. 
Uh, Bryce Young said, yeah, absolutely. You got, you got Amiga the Minds out here the making their case. Yeah, we got receivers over here. You know, it's one thing. O linemen aren't. O linemen aren't over there pleading their case. Okay, so here's here's the leg. Or excuse me, here is the leg down, as you can see, right there. And there's kind of. I mean, from that angle, it looks yeah. short. It, it depends on when you think he's down. If right. you think it's the ankle there, which it looks like more so down at that point, if it's the forearm a little bit further. So even even Ritter and Young, these two guys who have met in the college football semi <laughs> playoff semifinals before, meeting for the third time in their careers overall, second time in the NFL. We're going to sort this out on the other side. <laughs> Just took a little longer than I think we would have liked. So Atlanta does take over. Najir on the push and right back to the line of scrimmage. So appreciate Dean clarifying things for us through the mechanics of it. So again, no challenge flag or anything of that nature thrown there. The turnover on downs added to the list of reviewable plays. They did get right, it seems like, after the uh, extensive review. And Arthur's team has second down and nine now. to the list of strange occurrences and strange weather. On the rollout, Rear. Dangerous if he throws to the outside. You saw J.C. Horn in that area near Drake, London. Ends up being an incompletion and it's third down and nine. First target of the day for Drake, London. That's almost one of those just, hey man, I'm gonna put it somewhere where either my guy makes adjustment to it or it falls incomplete because J.C. Horn just hustled out of there to get underneath that route. You see him right there, and it's almost a Aaron throw by purpose. Yeah, because you throw that to the outside, he might be there. That's a good throw. Kyle Pitts has it inside of Caroline territory. Big play for Pitts. His second catch of the day, a 23-yarder. Well, they're just going to replace, right? So you're going to run off here, run that off, and then try to get into this window. Clear and replace, they call that. So Drake London clears it out, and then you just replace him with Pitts toward the sideline. A great throw. I'll tell you one thing about Ez Ritter. When he can just see that target, that number one guy, he can let that thing rip, especially outside the numbers. There's another fumble. Another one, and the Falcons will recover it. Second time today, Kaderil Hodge the time on the rescue mission to save the ball. Let's just check it out. And it's right through. You can see yeah. a splash on the hands. And one thing you have to do as a center is when your center is, or excuse me, as a quarterback, and your center's working away on a run block, you got to ride him, especially when it's wet. You've got to ride him into that before you get that ball and pull it out to the tent and running back. So knowing where the runway is going and knowing where your center is going is essential to making sure you can clean that up on the exchange. Exactly. Here is Janu Smith as he takes it to the 43 yard. So if he's stepping hard to the right, you've got to step a little bit with him. Sure. Kind of lean with you to the right so that you make sure that exchange happens for you. Because it's really hard, I imagine, if you're a center to snap it straight because you're not going to be able to move and get that jump against a defensive line. Even that split sec really matters when you're trying to block a line. It certainly does. And then when you talk about, hey, reversing out as a quarterback. So if he's going to the right and you're reversing out to the left, that's just an added element to that snap, that center quarterback exchange. Really nice play that time. The front of Carolina getting it done. Marquise Haynes has been battling a back issue all year, and he blew that play up. Celebrated his 30th birthday yesterday and took to Bijan Robinson say really nice play on the edge of putting the block and getting in the backfield we Talked about penetration all day today that time He's playing the game on the opposite line of scrimmage and when you do that you make back stop their feet when back stop their feet Everybody can get to the play. That's what happened in Marquise Haynes does a great job of playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage Smith Marset is back. Pinion will punt from plus territory again. Aimed out. And it's actually going to take a friendlier Carolina bounce. End up as a 30. You to play in the third. They're on defense. Carolina starts for 13. And like they've been doing a couple times today, a big Shuba Hubbard run to start a drive. He picks up 11. 
Well, just keep on pounding. You know what happens? What happens when you keep just running the football? You see Gay Jackson's in there, right guard, great block. 69, that guy's been around for a while, 10 years in the league. He's creating that opportunity, that crease, but you keep pounding, you keep under the rock, you keep doing it. The next thing you know, those two and three yard runs from the first half become eight, nine, 10 yard runs and, and breakouts in the second half. We'll stick with it. It's the Carolina model. Keep pounding. That's a pounding run out across the 40 for Chuba Hubbard. Another double digit yarder at 17, and he's starting to put it together. Well, you got to look at how you break this thing out. Watch this. as you get all this action. Watch this backside created for the cutback. Anytime you can get that much push on the front side, you cut off the backside. There's going to be a gaping hole on that back end for that back to cut through and Chuba Hubbard taking advantage of that. But they're getting great push on that front side on that wide zone handoff. Hubbard averaging six yards a carry. NFL average is just a shade over four. Right back to him. That time he gets stymied by Nate Landman and company. Well, you mentioned a couple of names. You mentioned Gabe Jackson, a practice squad elevation, a veteran guy. Played 100 games for the Raiders. Sure. Been around for a while. Cade Mace as part of the revolving door guard. You know Equan is going to be there for a while. They took Nash Jensen out and put Jackson in. And then, of course, the mains get right tackle Taylor Moore. This kind of game, offense linemen, they just love this, right? It's messy and it's wet defensive line and complain about it and you start leaning on people and leaning on people that's exactly what Carolina's trying to do right now now young off the play action had to plant his foot take off and stayed on his feet and Bryce Young with an excellent run finally Ellis chases him down that's a 12 yard scamper Bryce Young not a whole lot on the play for him to run. These are all scrambles anytime he takes off. Yeah, this is something he's got to do more of. One thing I always told young quarterbacks, just keeps out of third down and long. Go make a play with your feet. Get us in third down and four. Get in third down and manageable. When things break down, don't worry about pushing it down the field. Go make a play with your feet. Bryce Young has got that ability, and right there, big run on a 12-yard scamper from Bryce Young. He averages about seven a pop when he does actually scramble. He's had some decent runs this year. Here's Hunter. Oh, there, good job by London. That's great. Bryce Young lost the football. That was loose on the deck. Taquan Graham got in there, charred that ball loose. 95 for the Falcons. And it's going to be Carolina ball. Looked like Bryce Young, the quarterback, was able to jump back on top of it. Well, we just talked about Gabe Jackson. Now he gets beat on the edge. <laughs> and you can see Graham. You know, one thing you want to be able to do when you're a pass rusher is don't sack the quarterback as much as you want to sack the ball. Oh, right. Go get the ball, and Graham does a great job there. First career sack for Taquan Graham in his 36th. NFL game, third year man out of Texas. So we've had a first career that a sack for Zach Harrison and now for Tawan Graham as well. Falcons trying to generate a little bit of pass rush. They have 29 sacks this season. He came in in the bottom third of the league in that category, but Edwards have struggled at times. They got the snap off, three and 15, and receiver DJ Shark hit the deck, and here comes the flag. It was a chuck of the chart that time. <laughs> that will lead to the penalty flag with the physical corner, A.J. Terrell, who is That's such a tough guy out there. Pass in the first. Defense from 44. First up to spot of the foul. Terrell, you know he's going to put his hands up. He's an aggressive guy. This is probably the wrong timing for it, though. Well, right down here at the middle of your screen on slot, and that's a chuck chuck <laughs> is what they call that right there. Actually trips over the feet. He gets the... He gets the Chuck and everybody trips over the feet. I think of uh, Caden Ellis. And I, I think that might have been AJ's argument there. It's like it wasn't me. It was more the feet, the incidental contact. Why are you flagging me on that? Panthers will absolutely take it to the 40 of Atlanta now. They're that matchup, Chart and Terrell at the bottom again. Sanders. 
move ahead for a buck. Miles Sanders much more involved. Almost 12 touches a game over the last month. He kind of supplanted Hubbard for a short period of time as lead back after Hubbard had kind of jumped back in front, kind of gone back and forth over the course of the year. Well, last week he had a very productive week. 10 carries, 74 yards. Like I mentioned, he had that 48 yard run where he shook about three or four guys out of his shoes. So his best run of the year. That time. Excellent job off the corner spot. Mike Hughes has been back the last couple of games. The North Carolina native makes the step to force third down. Yeah, you always got to worry about a guy like this. He's in here. Well, there's nobody to cover in there. Like, I mean, you've got safety over the top. It gives you an opportunity to get into that run blitz situation. And he was flying in there, making a play. Just another one of those guys in that rotation that we talked about on the back end of this Falcons defense. From New Bern, North Carolina, that's uh, almost about 300 miles from the east of Charlotte, more towards the coast, but he played at Chapel Hill, then went to Community College in Kansas before going to UCF. Third down and eight. Young roll out, Young. Down the middle, there's a flag thrown. E.J. Chark makes the catch inside the 15. Going to have to check the marker, though. If it's a hold, it's coming back. Oh, I've got a number 69. 10 yard goal third down. Gabe Jackson yeah, had a couple of nice blocks earlier, but a couple of rough plays in the last handful for Jackson it negates that long game. Well, here he is, I mean, on the inside. You see him got him pinned right here, pinned. Got him pinned inside, but when that changes, you've got to be able to feel that. Now, I, you know, I'm one of those guys that would look at that and say, oh, come on, that's that's a bad call. But when you got him pinned inside, when that quarterback starts to change, it changes the angle of that defender, right. and all of a sudden he gets on your edge, and that's when you've got to feel that and you got to let him go. You just say, hey, my quarterback's enough of an athlete to outrun that guy. And so, hard to do, easy to say for me, but it's very hard to do. It's the longest pass play of the day for Carolina at 26. Bryce Young keeping the play alive. But incomplete. Jonathan Mingo was the closest man to it and Mingo had kind of stopped moving on that play. He wasn't really coming back to it. I think he was uh, I think as Mingo came back started coming back to that ball he would like to see him at least make an effort on that but that was a errant throw. Now a punt from plus territory. At least the snap will come from plus territory for John Hecker. D. Alford is back to return. That one of what a different make. Fake to Patterson. Burns got in the backfield, and then Yito Bros Matos was pretty close to it, standing next to Jake Matthews. It's going to be third down and 11. And a uh, fortune in completion, I would say, for Desmond Ritter. Here. Yeah, well, that one would have been a uh, you know, big negative footage one, so probably good that Patterson dropped it. He just wasn't even looking for it. He's like, there's no way he's going to throw it over here. That'll be tough just to get into a rhythm. The Falcons better find one. They're trying to keep pace with the Saints and the Bucks in that three-way tie. It's Bijan Robinson. And he lost the football. It belongs to Carolina inside the Atlanta 25. Troy Hill knocked it free. Brian Burns has it. A slip and slide. The Panther defense comes up with a takeaway. Dead last in the NFL and takes. There's they get one here. Two guys. Watch a hustle of this guy coming back. That's Derek Brown. Swims inside. Continues to play hard. Gets in on that tackle. We talked about it. Troy Hill creating that. And then Derek Brown right there to pick it up. And then uh, obviously Brian Burns scooping up the fumble. But just that effort by this defense and you're in business right now troy hill who had to start to handle the games jeremy was out earlier this year he's hit an impact the nine-year veteran out of oregon 
Yeah, Bryce Young and company the chance to perhaps take the lead in the lead stages of the third quarter. Well, creativity here as they get it to Smith Marset. One Graham is there for the stop after a gain of a couple or so. Well, I'd say that, that's one I'd put back on the shelf. I've right? seen put it a couple times today, right? Oh, yeah. But put a wide receiver running inside between the tackles off the inside handoff. And well, let's face it, those guys are used to being out of the water, you know, outside the numbers, not in the concrete where, uh, you know, the defense linemen and the offensive linemen hang out. So that one's a little risky for me as an offense. Smith Marsden, only about 185 pounds compared to the big three hunt pounders up front. Second down, Bryce Young flips it out, and Smith Marset on the move. He'll pick up the first down this time. Clark Phillips forced him out. Doesn't feel like an easy throw here in these conditions. You know what? This is a tough throw in any condition because you can't put too much air on it because it'll allow the defense to rally up and make tackle short, but you've got to put enough air on it to make sure it doesn't get tipped. To me, is is a harder throw than maybe a deep post down the middle of the football field. It takes such touch, just depth touch, to complete that ball. Smith Merced getting involved in the offense. The clock winding down. And that should take us to the end of the third. That's coordinator. Bryce Young lost the football. That was loose on the deck. Aquan Graham got in there and charred the ball loose. 95 for the Falcons. And it's going to be Carolina ball. Looked like Bryce Young, the quarterback, was able to jump back on top of it. Well, we just talked about Gabe Jack, and now he gets beat on the edge. <laughs> yeah. and you could see Graham. You know, one thing you want to be able to do when you're a pass rusher is don't sack the quarterback as much as you want to sack the ball. Oh, right. Go get the ball, and Graham does a great job there. First career sack or Taquan Graham in his 36th NFL game. Third year man out of Texas. So we've had a first career sack, a sack for Zach Harrison, and now for Taquan Graham as well. Falcons trying to generate a little bit of a pass rush. They have 29 sacks this season. Came in in the bottom third of the league in that category, but Panthers have struggled at times. Just got the snap off, third and 15, and the receiver DJ Chark hit the deck, and here comes the flag. It was a uh, chuck of the Chark at that time. <laughs> and lead to the penalty flag with a physical corner, AJ Terrell, who is just a tough guy out there. Pass interference. Defense number 24. First down to foul. Terrell, you know he's going to put his hands up. Sure. He's an aggressive guy. This is probably the wrong timing for it, though. Well, right down here at the middle of the screen on the slot, that's a chark chuck, is what they call that right there. Actually, he trips over the feet. He gets, yeah. the, he gets the chuck in there, but he trips over the feet, I think, of uh, Caden Ellis. And I, I think that might have been AJ's argument there. It's like, to me, it was more the feet and the incidental contact. So why are you flying me on that? Panthers will absolutely tick it to the 40 of Atlanta now. There's that matchup, Chark and Terrell at the bottom again. Oh. It was Sanders. Oh. Don't move ahead for about a Miles Sanders much more involved. Almost 12 touches a game the last month. And he kind of supplanted Hubbard for a short period of time as the lead back for Hubbard had kind of chipped back in front, kind of gone back and forth over the course of the year. Well, last week he had a very effective week. Yep. 10 carries, 74 yard. Like I mentioned, he had that 48 yard run where he shook out three or four guys out of shoes. So his best run of the year. That time. So the job up the quarter spot. Mike Hughes has been back the last couple of games. The North Carolina native makes the stop to force third down. Yeah, you always got to worry about a guy like this. He's in here. Well, there's nobody to cover in there. Like, I mean, you got a safety over the top. It gives you an opportunity to get into that run blitz situation. And was flying in there, making a play. Just another one of those guys in that rotation we talked about at the back end. 
of this Falcons defense. From New Bern, North Carolina, that's uh, almost about 300 miles or so east of Charlotte, more towards the coast. But he played in Chapel Hill, now it's Community College in Kansas, before going to UCF. For down and eight. I'm rolling out, Young, down the middle. There's a flag thrown. DJ Chark makes the catch inside the 15. Have to check that marker, though. If it's a hold, it's coming back. Holding. Offense from 69. 10-yard penalty. Third down. Gabe Jackson yeah, had a couple of nice blocks earlier, but a couple of rough plays in the last handful for Jackson. Negates that long game. Well, here he is. I mean, on the inside. You see him got him pinned right here. Pinned. Got him pinned inside. But when that changes, you got to be able to feel that. Now, I, you know, I'm one of those guys that would look at that and say, oh, come on, that's that's a bad call. But when you've got him pinned inside, when that quarterback starts to change, it changes the angle of that defender. Right. And all of a sudden, he gets on your edge. And that's when you've got to feel that and you got to let him go. And you just say, hey, my quarterback's enough of an athlete to outrun that guy. And so hard to do. Easy to say for me, but it's very hard to do. The gates, the longs. Pass play of day for Carolina at 26. Bryce Young keeping the play alive. But incomplete. Jonathan Ingo is the closest man to it, and Bingo kind of stopped moving on that play. Wasn't really come back to it. I think he was, yeah. I think as Mingo came back, started coming back that ball, he'd, he'd like to see him at least make an effort on that, but that was an errant throw. Now, a punt from plus territory. At least snap will come from plus territory for Johnny Hecker. D Alford is back to return. That punt of what difference made. Baked to Patterson. Burns got in the backfield, and Yitor Gross Matos was pretty close to it. Standing to Jake Matthews. It's going to be third down and 11. On a uh, fortunate incompletion, I would say, for Devin Ritter. Uh, yeah, well, that one would have been, uh, you know, a big negative yardage one. So probably good that Patterson dropped it. He just wasn't even looking for it. He's like, there's no way he's going to throw over here. That'll be tough just to get into a rhythm, but the Falcons are find one. They're trying to keep peace with the Saints and the Bucks in that three-way tie. There's Bijan Robinson, and he lost the football. It belongs to Carolina inside the Atlanta 25. Troy Hill knocked it free. Brian Bird has it. A slip and slide. And the Panther defense comes up with a takeaway. Dead last in the NFL and take to get one here. Two guys, watch the hustle of this guy coming back. That's Derek Brown. Swims inside, continues to play hard. Gets in that tackle. We talked about it. Troy Hill creating that. And then Derek Brown right there to pick it up. And then uh, obviously Brian Burns scooping up the fumble. But just that effort by this defense and you're in business right now. Troy Hill who had to start a handful of games. Jeremy Chin was out earlier this year. He's made an impact. A nine-year veteran out of Oregon. And now Bryce Young and company with a chance to perhaps take the lead in the late stage of the third quarter. A little creativity here as they get to Smith Marson. Juan Graham is there for the stop after a gain of a couple or so. Well, I tell you, that, that's one I'd put back on the shelf. Right? See a couple times today, right? Well, but put a wide receiver running inside between the tackles off the inside handoff. And well, let's face it, those guys are used to being out in the water, you know, outside the numbers, not in that concrete where uh, you know, the defensive lineman and the offensive lineman hang out. So that one's a little risky for me as an offense. Smith Marr said only about 185 pounds. Compared to the 300 pounds of run. Second down, Bryce Young flips it out, and Smith Marsha on the move will pick up the first down this time. But Phillips forced him out. 
Doesn't feel like an easy throw here in these conditions. You know what? This is a tough throw in any condition because you can't put too much air on it because it'll allow the defense to rally up and make a tackle short. But you've got to put enough air on it to make sure it doesn't get hit. To me, is a harder throw than maybe a deep post down the middle of the football field. It takes such touch, just a deft touch, to complete that ball. Smith Marset get involved in the offense. Clock the winding down. And that should take us to the end of third.